everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today I'm going to be going back to my roots and painting some models from the very first game I ever painted. So this is Zombicide Black Plague's Dead Eye Walkers. They're also usable in um, Massive Darkness if you're lucky enough to have got that yet. These models were requested by a subscriber, Will. Uh, thanks for the request. If anybody else would like anything, leave a comment below. So I'm going to start by priming the models, blue tacking them down to some card in the garden and applying some paint. More specifically, the Skeleton Bone Colour Primer by the Army Painter there. It means we don't have to paint the bone colour in. Here I'm showing you the paints that I'll use in this tutorial, and you'll be able to find them all in the description below. First up, we're going to be using Abomination Gore, uh, a fairly bright red from the Army Painter's Zombie Side set. For this tutorial, I don't know if you noticed, but in the picture I am only using the Army Painter's Zombie Side set for this. Um, it's the paints I originally started with when I very first started painting and they're from the Black Plague set which is the first game I ever painted. So I've tried to do that just in case anybody's following along and it's going down the exact same path that I, I've taken. So I'm using the regiment brush here and applying it to all of his padded armour that he's wearing under his cloak there. Next I'm taking the elf green which is their dark green and I'm going to be painting his his cloak with this so that's it, the hooded part as well as all down his back and the parts you can see um, sort of showing through from the front. I'm still using the regiment brush here and I'm applying a thin layer of this paint. I'll, I'll probably do two coats of this one just to give a, a more even spread of the colouring. I'm going to be taking the necromancer cloak, the dark grey from the army painter set and this is for his, um, his, his glove on his left hand for holding the bow. I'll also be doing both of his boots in the same colour. As you can see, still using the regiment brush, I'm going to be doing the whole base coat with the regiment brush. Just applying a quick layer, being careful around the bone to make sure I don't get any paint on that, especially with it being the darker paint, so it's harder to paint over. I'm going to be using the Army Painters Zombie Side Black Plague Sets Leather Brown for all of the brown on this model. So that's his bow, his arrow, uh, all of his belts. I'm also going to be painting his quiver in this brown. As you can see, still using the regiment brush as promised. He's also got a leather bag on his back there, just down by his thigh. Painting that the same brown. Back side of the bow and the, the arrow as well. And up the side of the quiver. I'm going to be taking the babe blonde. He is, he is a babe. And this I'm going to be just painting on the details of his um, bow there, as well as his feathers. What are they called? Arrow feathers. Yes, I think that's the technical term. I'm going to use the Claymore Blade, the light silver from the Zombie Side set, and that's going to be for the arrow head. I know that word. Oh, I've switched down to the um, detail brush for this from the Army Painters set, and that's for also for the a uh, bit of metal on his boot, his knee pad, and all of the buckles on it, all of his belts. So we're on to the shading next. I'm going to be using the zombie shader for all of his um, flesh, skin, bones, for all of his bones. I'm also going to paint all the greys and the browns with the same army uh, zombie, zombie shader, which is the, the, the brown shader that I use catching his ribs there as well. Plenty on his feet to show the details between all of his toes and around the back of the boots. Next is the jumpsuit shader which is their red shader. So this is from the the older zombie side sets. If you wanted to save time I think um, you could just shade the whole model with the same shader. Just any, any dark shader would probably make a, a pretty decent effect by the end. But well, seeing as I have the three different tones of shaders, so this is next, this is the plague shader, which is the green shader, and I will be doing the cloak with that. As soon as I had the shaders, I thought I'll keep the tones in, in line. So we're onto the highlighting now. I'm going to be using zombie skin, which is a 9900% match to the primer that I used at the beginning. And this is just to paint back in all of the colour on his bones. As you can see, so his, his hand, his arm, his fingers, the back of his arm. Uh, his forehead, his cheekbones, etc. 
Next I'm going to be highlighting his um, padded armour, and this is using Prison Jumpsuit, which is from an older set of uh, the Army Pater's Zombie Side range. And I'm going to be using the Detail Brush here and highlighting each, <laughs> each square of his padded armour, just a little bit uh, in the middle, as well as around all the edges of his, his sort of sleeves and his rips, anywhere that light would be catching the edge of. Hopefully you can see that's coming along. So it takes quite a while, there's quite a lot of little squares, but I think it's worth it by the end. And don't forget to do the back side as well there. So I'm going to be mixing the highlight for the green cloak. I'm going to be taking some elf green, as you can see here. And first of all, I'm going to be using the regiment brush just to paint on some thick lines, just bring some of the colour back to all of the raised areas. Then I'm going to take some plague skin, as you can see, and I'm going to mix those two together about 50-50. Uh, I think Plague Skin was too light a highlight, so I'm just toning it down with the original Elf Green. And then I'm just applying this to all the very tips, all the, the most raised areas of his cloak. So along the edge of his cloak and all the edges of his hood and down the back, all the, all the raised parts just on the tip. So you can hopefully see here, still using the detail brush for this. I'm being quite quick. As always, I don't don't take my time with very much. So I'm going to be highlighting the brown using leather brown mixed with bony spikes. And again, it's almost 50-50, I'd say. Uh, maybe 60-40 there. You could see I use slightly less bony spikes. And once it's mixed, add a drip of water and start highlighting up the edges of all the browns. So the, the edge of the bow, along a straight line along the arrow, and catching all the top parts of all of the belts as well as the top areas of um, the quiver and his little leather bag on the back doing the back side of all of that as well I'm going to take the babe blonde and I'm just going to touch up the very tips of his um, arrow feathers somebody please let me know what they're called in the comments uh, back to the claymore blade that's just to do the arrow head and the outside of his knee and not forgetting to highlight up all the buckles again, they, they come out especially good there. Uh, using filthy suit, and I'm going to dry brush a small amount of this onto his boots and catching all of the raised areas, as well as moving onto his glove, making sure his fingers stand out quite nicely there. Brain matter beige is going to be the final highlight, just neat, so it's the white from the set. And this is just to do the very tips of his bones, sort of fingers and cheekbones etc. So I'm going to show how I varnish the models for once. So I'm in some waste ground here aka my garden and I've taken the satin varnish by the army painter and same as the primer I'm just applying a small coat from about 20 to 30 centimeters away left to right, right to left. So next up very differently to any Arcadia Quest models I've painted with my zombie side set I have rebased all the models so I take a craft knife and I use a chisel blade, as hopefully you can see there. I'm doing this all outside. And then I've got a, a mallet, a rubber mallet, just to, a hammer would do, but I don't want to damage my craft knife. And of course some safety goggles, uh, don't want any bits of metal or plastic fl flinging off. And then I clamp the model into this vise, as hopefully you can see here, sort of like that. And then I line up the chisel exactly in line with the base between his base and his feet, and then I just tap gently with the hammer, a few gentle taps on each foot, uh, getting the chisel well stuck there, just loosening it bit by bit, keeping making sure that chisel blade is set, sitting flushly to the base, giving a very clean cut, and eventually the model pings off. Hopefully you could see that there. And there he is detached from the base, very cleanly done. Minimal tidying up, which I'll do with a file after that. So. I take a little bit of super glue, I happen to have power flex which is a flexible glue and I take a small clear base. So I'm actually downsizing the base here so they take up less space on the board as well. I found with the zombie side you had huge hordes and you couldn't fit them on the, all the tiles. So I've downsized all of the models onto a smaller base. And then I put a tiny bit of glue on both of his feet and apply the base firmly to it. I have to hold it for about 5-10 to 10 seconds and then it's caught enough to hold itself and I leave it to dry and there you go there's the finished Deadeye Walker ready to play with Zombicide or Massive Darkness
on a nice clear base. These look very, very good on, on the tiles. They don't look amazing just sat on, my, sat on my desk, but I think they're a huge improvement to hordes. You can fit a lot more on a single tile. There's three sculpts in the Dead Eye Walker set. I've painted one of each for you all to see here. So this is the second one. I've done it in the same style because I, I like my models to look consistent and the same as the artwork. And here's the third, my least favorite of the sculpts, but it still paints well. I just don't like how he's posed compared to the other two. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed seeing a different game, Zombicide in this case. If you want to see any other games or if you'd like to see a bit more Zombicide. As I mentioned, I've painted all the base set, but I've got plenty of extras to do. Thank you all for watching.